I'm going to try and make a short video about how to make a small rubber ring for this stethoscope. Um, it's an anti-chill ring so that you don't put the cold metal against somebody's skin when you're listening to their chest. Um, I've had this stethoscope for over 40 years and I probably lost the ring 30 years ago. I expect it perished. Um, but it shouldn't be too difficult to design something 3D printable in TPU. Um, but looking at the challenge, we can use uh, a digital caliper to get the diameter. So that would be 30 roughly millimetres. Um, but it's got to grip both sides of the metal. So there'll be a little bit above, a little bit below just a small overlap going all the way around. So we can easily do a revolve in the CAD program. If I put the calipers on at this level, you can see that it's wider at the tip than down at the edge. So I've got about 2.8 millimeters there, 1.59 here, and um, got this nice little radius gauge that I printed and it's obviously going to be less than one millimeter on the radius just a bit less than one but the the tricky part is going to be this angle knowing exactly what that angle should be to make it so that it's a good fit it'll be a different angle on the outside and on the inside of course so what I thought was that one way of doing it would be to take a mould of the metal piece and then cut the mould in half and use that as a template. So I've got this uh, blue stuff that I bought a few years ago. Um, I've not tried it before, but I've got a jug of hot water here and I want to experiment and see whether this will be the sort of thing that could be used to make a, a reusable mould. Now I don't know how hot the water has to be, it's not obviously boiling this because I can put my hands in it, but it's um, fairly hot from the tap. Now if this isn't hot enough I will pause the video and go away and put some boiling water in here and try and soften it some more. I can feel it is um, getting softer, but it's, it's not mouldable yet. So I think I'm going to have to um, add some boiling water and then uh, perhaps get a slotted spoon to get it out. Right, the instructions say immerse in hot water for three minutes and that's had about three minutes now and it's definitely mouldable now. And quite hot. Good. So let's push it onto here. I think what I'm going to do is wrap it around three quarters of the circumference and then let it cool down and that way I should be able to get a a good cut through half of it to get the um, the profile of the diameter but still be able to remove it from the mould just there. So I guess it's important to press it in tight. Good. So I'll let that cool down now 
and uh, then I'll come back and do the cutting and we'll see whether we get a good profile. Good, that's taken a few minutes, but this blue stuff has now cooled down enough that it's uh, quite firm. And I don't think it's stuck here. I think it's simply being held in by the shape. And I'm hoping that when I ease it out, it will retain its shape. There we go. So the dimple in the centre there will be quite a useful guide. To make sure I cut it exactly through the middle. Don't know how well this is going to work but let's give it a go. The nice thing about this stuff of course is that if it doesn't work you can reuse it. And the answer is it doesn't like that at all. So perhaps it needs a sharper knife. Okay, well, I'm not sure if that will be good enough. Uh, I might need to have another go at that. But for the job that I need it for, you never know, that might be good enough. Because the ring I want to make is only going to go just around the tip. And yeah, that's still a pretty good fit. So I'll um, take that to the next stage, try and use that and see if I can get a good profile to make the 3D model with. So here are the pieces of the mould and I took one of them and cut it the other way with a much sharper knife. Here you can see there's a very clear profile now which I was able to scan on my scanner and use as the canvas in the CAD modelling programme. So we're now looking at Fusion 360 and you can see the canvas in the background and the sketch over the front of it where I've started to draw the lines. Uh, once you've got the um, main lines lined up with the image um, you can then turn the image off and then just carry on working on the sketch. Um, I've taken the main line and put a one millimeter uh, outline around it. I've then trimmed it off to make it have a flat top, which will become a flat bottom, cut off the edges so that it'll print nicely, and then revolved it around the center axis to give the ring profile, which we can then load up to the 3D printer. Uh, here it is. Um, you can see it gradually building up the inside and the outside which will then bridge over the top to form the ring. Printed nicely first time. Here's the finished print in the TPU which is this rubber like filament. There's the uh, hole on the inside which will fit over the bell. That 
fits nicely and uh, should work perfectly.